We recently talked about nitro coffee here. It's a cold brew coffee that's put into a keg and then infused with nitrogen. We saw CBS do a story on this, and when we saw that on the air, we said, hey, I know some guys who are doing this right here in the Twin Cities. Black Eye Roasting in St. Paul has tapped into nitro coffee. And so joining us now, owner Matt McGinn, along with uh, bartender Ian Lother from Red Cow, because you guys are using it at your restaurant yeah, as exactly. well. Uh, let's start with explaining kind of what is the difference between sure. this nitro and maybe just a regular coffee. Yeah, well, nitro coffee, is smooth, bright, oh, yeah. other way here. Look at that. Does it taste different than regular coffee? It's a lot smoother and brighter and it has twice as much caffeine. Oh, that's well, now beautiful. You're, now yeah. you're <laughs> and you look at it, you can see kind of, much like pouring a beer, right? Correct. You start to see this uh, almost like the head form on it. Yeah, nitro cold brew is like pouring a Guinness. It's, um, think of a Guinness, but with 320 milligrams of caffeine, no alcohol, and it's smooth and you can drink 20 of them. It almost looks like a latte in some form, but there's no milk in there, Correct. no sugar. Correct. Just the straight coffee. Yep, that's the nitrogen infusion, and that's uh, what Nitro Cold Brew is all about. We infuse it with nitrogen and push it out of a Guinness faucet. Very cool. Ian, you, you guys yeah. are working with this over at Red Cow. Yes, yeah, so we've got a, a house-made cocktail. We've got a house-made tonic and some gin, and then we actually layer a little bit of cold brew coffee over the top. Oh, that's so neat. And so the kind of the, you know, coffee goes really well with uh, citrus and some baking spices. So we use that in our in our cold brew coffee. So did we you come little... up with this idea? Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> so no. this is just it's just tonic coffee. It is, yeah, it's gin, uh, and tonic, gin in there too. and so then we use a little bit of a uh, lemon zest and some Bolivar bitters from Bitter Cube over the top. Oh, my goodness. And uh, the, the citrus and the kind of the lightness from the tonic go really well with the uh, the brightness of the uh, of the cold brew and these two are kind of a match. Right, so Kylie, you, so you should try the you should try the cold brew first, right? Okay, try the brew first. Uh -oh. <laughs> try that okay. first. Going straight for the alcohol. Well, because you've tried this before. I've tried it before. You can get it at Quixotic Coffee in Correct. St. Paul. Where else oh, can wow. you get it? Uh, you can find it if you go onto our website mncoldbrew.com. You can find all the places we're on tap. We're also mm -hmm. carried with Berry Coffee. If you want this in your office. Um, oh we'll be my. leaving this kegerator with the WCC there you go. guys. Oh, you want to try some of this So just too? come on over and, no, do not come on over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't share with anyone else. This is such a cool idea. Yeah, it we've is got cool. the cold brew on at, the, uh, at all nice. the Red Cows as well, uh, in both in both Minneapolis and in St. Paul, and then this cocktail is both in Minneapolis and St. Paul locations. So really fun. No loop one. Yeah. Guys, very good. great with Thanks. a 60 40 burger. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Nice synergy there. Yeah. Thank you both for coming in. Thank we appreciate it. We're excited to see it getting some attention, too. Hey, we're